This Board Stories Bodyboard segment is brought to you by Science Bodyboards. Bringing stop number two of the Hawaii Bodyboarding Pro Tour to Sandy Beach, the state's top bodyboarders were eager to duke it out at one of bodyboarding's most iconic venues. We are at one of the founding birthplaces of modern bodyboards. This is like uh, the mecca for bodyboarding here at Sandy Beach. It's kind of notorious for the heavy shore break here. So you got that going for it. Then you move out a little bit and you got Pipe Littles, which is a little reef that goes into the shore break. And then right outside of that, you got Half Point, which is a pretty high performance wave for, for bodyboarding. It's super shallow and a lot of juice. So you can get a lot of speed. Even on small waves, you can get some pretty good airs out there. And then as you move out, you go out to full point. And so you got this whole spectrum of, of surfing conditions. Yeah, the first contest I ever entered was here at Sandy's at Pipe Littles. And uh, the first contest I ever won on a bodyboard was here as well. So not just for me, but for a lot of the founding fathers of this sport, they kind of cut their teeth here. So it was just this big era of development at the very beginning. And this is where it all happened, Sandy Beach. The Hawaii Bodyboarding Pro Tour hosts six divisions, highlighting the different disciplines in bodyboarding, as well as giving junior pros, women, and masters a chance to show off their skills. And with some hurricane surf in the forecast, the scenario played out well for competitors to get some quality waves. You know, we dodged those two hurricanes and it was really touch or go whether this is gonna be like gale force winds and like, okay, we can't even set up or we do set up and then gale force winds come. So we didn't really know what we're gonna get. and. Looking at Surfline's forecast, I kind of like, okay, well, hey, it could be all time on, on Saturday, and it, it actually turned around, so everyone got in, and I think it was pretty good. The first day of competition showcased the juniors, masters, stand-up, and drop-knee fields. In the junior division, perennial standouts Tanner McDaniel and Kavika Kamai showed their prowess through the early rounds to make the final, along with fellow junior competitor Corden Stapp. But in the end, it was first-time finalist Kellen Yamasaki who was beyond stoked to take out his first tour victory. Yesterday I made my first final and then come here today and get first, like, woo! <laughs> Such a great event, so to come out on top. Taking it up to the Masters, some new entries showed up to round out the division with all the salty dogs enjoying their water time. But once again, the drop knee approach of Jimmy Hutath reigned supreme with the Maui native taking out the final. I encourage all you other guys out there that are 40 plus, come out and surf with us. All right. On to the drop knee division, and it was a stacked field of previous winners, including past champion Dave Hubbard. But with Dave falling just short of the final, the door was left open for the rest of the field to capitalize and battle for the win. Ultimately, it was Sandy Beach local Kabika Kamai who threw down some stylish slashes to take out his first drop knee tour victory. The unique stand-up division brought a surf style to the event with competitors ditching the fins and laying down some carves. The final showcased a mix of styles and some impressive riding by Kauai's Dave Hubbard. But putting down two high-scoring rides was Maui boy Mac Crilly, en route to the victory. Day two saw the women and men pros take to the water and the continued hurricane swell. The women's final saw some quality riding with veteran Carla Costa taking out the big W. With the biggest field of the event, the men's pro division highlighted the top bodyboarding in the state and came with a deep field of talent. There's a, a number of good riders throughout the contest that were surfing really good. Jeff and Dave are always really hard and kind of targets for guys to beat because they're on the world tour as well. And in fact, Jeff is leading the world tour. So he's kind of the guy to beat right now and everyone's kind of shooting for him. But during the day, it wasn't like he had a walkthrough. So there's guys that really st stood out, you know, guys who made it to the finals. Kyahi Parker, Tanner McDaniel had a stellar semi, and Kavika Kamaya was ripping. Now, those guys were standouts to me. Gosh, there's so many guys that were tearing. Even uh, Trevor Cam got a couple huge flips and got really high scores, and guys were just like letting it go, and it was pretty cool to see. In the final, the battle for first came between the brother duo of Jeff and Dave Hubbard. While Dave found some great rides, he couldn't quite match his older bro. He's a smart competitor to, to begin with, and you know, he's technically very capable, so. You put those two together and he's hard to beat. Really stoked. I just want to say thanks to all the 
staff here at Kellogg's and all the sponsors and all the people, the judges, and all everyone that works so hard to make these events possible. This is awesome. It's great for everybody. So thank you guys. Mahalo.